Hello, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program version 0 0.17. Yeah, I'm uh, taking a look at... Wow. This game used to look a lot worse. It's kind of funny looking back on it. This is the Ark Bird, which I made a long time back. I'm going to wait till it builds up some thrust before I take off. I don't actually know what... Uh, well, I guess I already have enough thrust. I'm not... I guess. Uh, let's hope we don't... Yep, we just cleared that. Alright, I'm going to turn the indicators on so that I can actually see what I'm doing. This is... Well, it's the Arkbird from uh, Ace Combat 4. Or at least it's a supposed to be the Arkbird. Um, it can't actually land. As you might have noticed, there's no landing gear. But uh, you can fly it around for a while and then deploy the parachute on the nose to uh, try to land somewhere. This is also a very different Kerbin than I remember because, well, this is from the old version, so... Oh, physics warp. Yeah, don't, don't warn me again. Ah, so this was after they added the 4 times physics warp. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. And wow, this thing... This thing flies better than I remember it flying. I honestly don't remember how it flew at all. I just uh, am flying it now, and it's it flies quite well, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and try and flip it out and see what happens if I just give it this like extreme angle. And of course, uh, we don't have the cockpit internals, but uh... oh yes. Bob, Bill, and Buzz. Where the hell's Jed? I wonder if he's responsible for... No, that's the reason for this launch. I guess in this save, uh, I had destroyed him. This is, of course, an older save of Caribou Space Program, obviously, because, well, it's 0 0.17. I don't even remember what I was doing back in 0 0.17, but uh, I do remember I had a very shitty computer, and, of course, now I have a much better computer, so, as you can see, I am... Uh, flying this Arkbird with none of the insane lag and with higher quality, even though it's actually kind of not higher quality because Kerbin doesn't look as good as it does now, so it's kind of not, but uh, that's beside the point. I'm curious if you can drift this thing into a landing. So I'm going to see if I can get it to go as slow as possible. As long as you hit lower than 40 meters per second, you are guaranteed survival with the Mark III cockpit, or any of the cockpits, really, uh, as long as it's not a capsule. But yeah, this is the Arkbird, and it looks like I'm not going to be able to get below that speed. So I'm going to have to pull the chute. I'm going to pull the chute right before... Actually, wait, there's a delay before it deploys. And there we go, successful landing. I also can't hit escape on, uh, for some reason I can't hit escape on KSP anymore. I don't know why, but um, it's very annoying when I need to, well, I don't know, uh, you know, go back to the, there we go. Here we have the probably appropriately named Holy Fuck 4. Could you, okay, this is uh, interesting. Let's uh, see what happens when we turn it on. Do we have RCS? No, we don't. Okay, brilliant. This is a VTOL, obviously. A VTOL that actually works, too. Just barely, but it does work, as far as takeoff. I've never, I don't think I've ever vertically landed it. Um, I'm not sure if I made a video of it either. I think I did at one point, but I'm not sure. But, uh,. It's very hard to take off with it because it's so freaking heavy. I mean, it's look at this thing. It's just heavy squat plane. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. And that's how you take off with the VTOL. So here we are again. I'm going to keep the throttles at two-thirds to try and avoid stupidness. 
All right. Deactivate an engine. Hope we don't explode. Oh, what? That deactivated both of them at once. Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess that's something that they changed since then. Also, this plane is uh, pretty easy to fly as well. I'm actually surprised by that. It doesn't turn as fast as I like to make my fighters turn, of course, but uh, that's really not a fighter, so I mean, what do you expect, right? But it does turn quite well on its own. This is also the plane that, uh, if you're one of those people that's been around since uh, since that time I landed a plane upside down, this is the, well, this isn't the exact same plane, but this is, oh shit, that's it. You know how parachutes used to have that delay between deploying, right? That, that, oh, well, yeah, that killed me. This one's called the Jumpy Wing for some reason. I don't know, if you look at it, that might tell you why it's called that. It looks like a jumpy little, oh, it jumps right off the runway. That would be why it's called the Jumpy Wing. Wee! Yeah, we're doomed. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, yep, we're doomed. Close, ah! Oh yeah, brilliant landing there. Whoops, there we go. Actually, I've decided we're going to try that one again. This time I'm actually going to try to fly it. Whoa. This is also before intakes had a purpose. So, there are no intakes on this craft because, well, it would be pointless. This thing also flies a lot better than I would have expected. Whoa, 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 whoa! Interesting. Now, I believe this was an attempt at something that I could launch on a rocket, fly in space, and then land. The idea of being nuclear engines are, of course, uh, very efficient in space. This is also before the fuel split, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Yes, this is, of course. So, these would work on any fuel. And, um, I forget what happened to this design idea. It either never took off, or it flew terribly, or and I couldn't land it, or I couldn't get it to launch on a rocket. I don't really remember what happened to it, but uh, we're going to find out right now, at least if it's one of the explodey options, or the not take off option. Here goes nothing. End of the runway. Whoa. Oh, that's what happens. Now I remember. Yeah, so every time you try to take off with this, it would just, uh, it would just, the engine would break off at the end of the runway. Suppose I could have reinforced that with struts, but I was too dumb to do that. Also, I figured what's the point of reinforcing with struts, because it won't take off anyhow. And we have the XLS, XLSR, Lux, blah, 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 blah. I forgot already what it's called, because, yeah. But, uh, as you can see, this was another attempt at having, like, you know, just a ton of fuel on a craft that could be in orbit and then do a bunch of stuff and then come back and land. Um, let's see if this suffered from the same problem or not. I believe this one can actually get off the ground and then flies horribly. But I don't know. We'll, we'll find out when we uh, reach into the runway, I suppose, right? Let's check it. And... Ah, yes, this is how it flies. Oh, oh actually, uh quite well once you account once you get over the fact that you just nearly flip out it flies perfectly fine now of course uh, the fuel on this thing isn't going to last very long because as soon as we burn out of this tank then we'll burn out of the other tanks and then we'll uh, be done for it seems to be developing a nasty habit of pulling up too much as well so let's let's try and land it. This may be the other reason I canceled this one. <laughs> Landing it. Oh! Yep. Definitely part of the reason why I didn't ever use that design. Now we're going to look at rockets. This one was entitled Shuttle 3. I guess this was a third attempt at making a shuttle with this style or something? I don't know. Let's find out how horribly this goes. Uh, 
That's not a good sign. Neither is that. I think the staging went perfectly, don't you? We only launched with like a, a fraction of our rocket, but that's not important. What's important is that I do that. Okay. Oh shit. It has parachutes too, and we just activated all of them. Well, I guess I know how this is going to end. Wait, nope, we can recover from this. By, we're going to slow down our speed ever so slightly using the rocket engine. And then we're going to coast down on a gentle 10.7 explosions per second. And touchdown. Only one thing exploded, one thing broke, and then the rest is going to explode. There we go. Proper landing. Oh shit, I can't. I can't close this. And finally, we have the sun dive. Uh, well, actually, the sun dive too. There was actually the sun dive as well, but uh, what did Kruip? Uh, the orbital camera works differently than I recall. <laughs> uh, the sun dive one is basically the same thing, but a bit smaller. Also, is that a decoupler that's attached to a nothing right there? Because that's what that looks like to me. Let's, uh, fire it. Whoops. And stuff. Oh. That was different than I expected. Also, this is very inefficient, as you'll notice, by the speeds that I'm going at. I'm going way too fast for this low in the atmosphere. But I don't even care. Oh, there's no re-entry effects. Damn it. I was just thinking about getting re-entry effects on the way up, and, uh, but that won't happen considering there are no re-entry effects. Of course, the SAS is going mad, especially this is the oldest, oldest? This is a very old version of the SAS. I think I just blew up most of my rocket beneath me. This next stage is the interesting one, because it's like, why is there no, why is there nothing there? That's, that's uh, interesting. Can I, oh, you can't right-click to decouple the couplers anymore. There we go. It's funny watching the camera slowly move up as the mass is redistributed on the ship. As you can see, we are gaining quite a high velocity. We're still in Kerbin orbit, though. Well, not even in orbit. But uh, we will get on to quite a high place. I forget exactly how far this thing can go just shooting straight up, but uh, we're going to see in a minute or two or three hours or maybe six years. I'm not sure. Well, we should be reaching... Nope, we're reaching... or uh, Getting to the moon, almost. Uh, because... We're going straight up. If we were going sideways like we're supposed to, that would have been escape velocity uh, much sooner than it is going to be now. But, uh, let's see, that's the angle we're launching at. If we'd launched at a different time, of course, this could actually dive into the sun, I believe. Hey, look, we're going to go near Moho, except not really, not at all. But, uh, I believe this thing was capable of an actual sun dive, it looks like, based on shooting it straight up right now. I mean, look at that. That's a pretty big change in velocity. Lots of delta vers. Delta vers? Delta vickers. Delta vickers vickers. It's been a long time since the SAS was this. Oh yes, and I cannot exit again, but uh, anyhow, this was a blast from the past. KSP 0.17. Most interestingly, the arc bird. One of my favorite things I've ever done. Thanks for watching. See you in space.